Hello everyone, welcome to another Total Warhammer 2 Online Multiplayer Replay. Today we'll be looking at a Vampire vs Chaos battle. I played earlier on the Anticity Letter stream, facing off Ice Power, a very experienced tournament player. You can see him in a bunch of tournaments and he streamed his experience in them, sometimes on his YouTube channel. For those who have watched that stream I did on the Anticity Ladder, you know that, spoiler alert, I lost this battle heavily. However, I still want to show this on a replay recasting, as I do want to showcase this build, a very unique Chaos Artillery Box build. You can tell quite a bit of thought has been put into it. You have a front line of Chaos Marauders here, and a second line of more Chaos Marauders here, just using the chaff to hold back the Vampire Infantry Rush. And that will bite a lot of time for the Soul of Damnation to bombard the densely packed formations of the Vampire Counts. An aggressive unit being used in a defensive purpose. Normally you'd see them as a damage dealing unit with their massive weapon strength, high charge bonus and also their impressive melee attack. But over here, they will be used as a defensive infantry to use their 85 armor to tank out the damage from the charges from vampire non-armor piercing mobility like say the Felbats and Direwolves and using their massive attack to just beat back these disruptive mobilities to secure the Hell Cannon. And in the front, we have Archeon the Ever Chosen here with Fireball to snipe out any Banshees, which I totally brought in this combat, and Burning Head to clear out any Chaff units of the Vampire Lines. Now for mobility, we have some more Marauder Horse Masters here. With their Javelins pretty decent AP as well, they will be able to pepper down and just harass the heavy cavalry of the Vampire Counts. As for the Vampire build, we have a bunch of Felbats in disguise. Their supposing job is to disrupt enemy missile fire, including the Horse Masters as well as the Hell Cannon. In the front line, zombie units as the Chaff, supported by three Grave Gods with great weapons. For mobility, we have Varex Reavers, Blood Knights, and a couple of Dire Wolves. Now for the leadership units of the Counts, we have Blood Dragon Vampire Lord on foot. Uh, I do want it to win out in that infantry grind with the um, Helm of Discord, but I also cannot afford too expensive of a lord due to all the expensive mobility I got. With a bunch of elite grave gods and elite cavalry, I do not exactly have the funds for dragons. We also have Banshee the Assassin here. Great armor piercing, but that physical resistance is gonna get cut short by the fireballs. Necromancer here with a corpse cart, this time with Balefire to basically slow down the magic regeneration of my opponent. With the army built out of the way, let's get the battle started and see how Ice Power wipe out the undead forces with his unique artillery box build. As the battle begins, the Vampire Counts have no choice but to push forward. I was pushing forward my infantry, my bats and uh, my cavalry is following behind as well. But with their slow movement speed, that gives plenty of time for the Soul of Damnation to rain down destruction on the undead lines. While Archeon saying hi to the Benchy with a nice and warm fireball straight to the face. Let's see how much damage it does and BAM! Over one fourth of her HP is taken away by Archeon's warm welcome. While on all flanks, the Felbats are just pushing forward trying to pressure the Marauder Horse Masters, but Ice Power on top of his micro basically shift his Horse Master a little bit towards the back whenever the Felbats get too close, and I wasn't really there to just drop my Felbats in there, as I do not have any mobility to follow up and support these fragile Felbat units. Arcane just chugging fireball after fireball into my heroic units, although this time the Necromancer took the hit instead. While the Soul of Damnation already killing off 40% of the HP on the Grave Gods, already 15 models down and I still have a long way to go before getting into charging distance against the Chaos Frontlines. On the right flank, my Felbats are dropping down Dire Packs, pushing forward, trying to pressure and catch these Horse Masters, but the Horse Masters, as the slippery skirmish cavalry they are, are eluding their grasp. On the other flank as well, the Felbats took quite a bit of damage as I was trying to stretch my micro on both ends and none of these flanks really work in my favor as the Felbats are just took a bunch of javelins to the face. Fireball yet again going down onto the Banshee and it lands down to half health on this ethereal lady. Yeah, 
this Banshee is having a rough time right there. While the um, Felbat's pushing forward as these Marauder Horse Masters have moved back quite a bit. While on this flank, some Horse Masters are caught in melee, but with them being so fast in movement, they should be just fine as they are moving back to the safety behind a screening of the Chaos Marauders. While the Felbats being so damaged, they cannot bog down the Marauder Horse Masters. A unit of Felbats is at this point so low, I was just throwing it as a sacrificial pawn into shutting down the Soul of Damnation for now. As my fel other Felbats trying to pressure the um, Horse Masters one again, while these infantry of the Undead are pushing forward, but now these Grave Gods and Zombies caught up on some Marauders, while these Verex Reavers tried to slip through a gap but my attention was elsewhere and a lapse of Micro allowed Ice Power to charge in some Chaos Marauders with great weapons and plug the gap. While on this other flank, the mobility of mine are being wiped out by all these Chaos Marauders, Horse Masters and whatnot as my dogs and Falbats are pretty much screened out. And in the back, the Soul of Damnation is online again as the Forsaken just wipe out the whole Felbat unit while these Blood Knights trying to sneak into the back but again as I was trying to micro units on this end I was slacking on the micro on the other flank and now they're in the direct fire from some Horse Masters while Forsaken rushing forward trying to catch them in melee. In the front lines one Chaos Marauder unit finally broken off, but there's another Chaos Marauder to bog them down while the Soul of Damnation has been wreaking havoc on my Grave Gods with great weapons. Most of them down to around half health or even less with the bombardment. Ferx Reavers got caught in some Chaos Marauders with great weapons, not a favorable engagement on them, while these Blood Knights, even with the 110 armor, they still get methodically picked apart by all these Javelins and Forsaken's high weapon strength. They are trying to circle around back but being separated from all support and surrounded by enemy units, they are not going to have a favorable engagement whatsoever. Dogs rushing forward trying to catch these Marauder Horse Masters in melee combat and drag down as many models as they can. Blood Dragon Lord trying to support whatever melee engagement he can with his limited speed and well yeah with all these tattered grave god units i wasn't able to push through these forsaken and chaos marauders effectively such is the price of not taking a mount ice power had a little bit of laughs on micro on these marauder horse masters but then he reacted properly and now they're just eluding the dog's grasp once again so these dogs are going back to their rear charge to try to wipe out these chaos marauders with the help of some very tattered blood knights but that's basically it for my infantry on this end as they are all wiped out and and my mobility are losing their steam. Now, Grave Gods with great weapons, the last of them are still trying to hold back the tide of Forsaken, but the Forsaken with such high weapon strength, they can punch through even the thick armor of the Grave God units, pummeling them into the dirt. There are more Grave Gods rushing in, but only 19 models of them, and with some Chaos Marauders hot in pursuit, they're not gonna do anything. Vex Reavers charging forward, trying to shut down any units in the vicinity. There's this little gap over here, so they're trying to go for the Soul of Damnation here, but with a few units being caught in melee combat, they actually stopped their charge last second and now did another charge but not as devastating as I wanted it to be. Helm of the score debuffing all these units of the Chaos and but without infantry support, I have no way to break through this Forsaken unit even if I have the Necromancer and the um, Bloodlord in there. I was literally left with no support units. With zero infantry, I just do not have the bodies to push through and the Verex Reavers getting swarmed by all these units can't even shut down the Soul of Damnation. It's basically crumbled to dust leaving only a very tattered unit of Blood Knights and some of my leaders, my characters, surrounded in, among a bunch of Forsaken. The Banshee, she got finished earlier from the Fireballs and also accidentally stuck in melee combat against Archeon, so, well, she's a goner. And there goes my Blood Knights as they are focused down by the Soul of Damnation as well as the Javelins from the Horse Masters, who are basically sitting back chilling and just filling up my characters with missile fire and that's all we have right here as we fast forward and look at the last stand of my blood dragon lord as the last of the zombies crumble i think that's the summon unit yep that's the summon unit the course card necromancer is buckling and i basically threw in the tower right then and there so before we go into the post battle screen i would like to say a big thanks to ice power who is playing against me in this game and also giving me an okay to cast this battle. I was wrecked in the battles to say the least, but still, play against a better player than you, you simply learn a lot from how they play and how they make their builds. Over here, 
I never thought about using Chaos Artillery and Infantry in a defensive box build. Usually I would go for a more aggressive approach, especially not against the Vampire Counts, but over here you can see that there is a lot of layers of infantry here with the Chaos Marauders here to delay the enemy advance, while the Forsaken will be guarding the artillery and using their 85 armor to tank out any possible mobility harassments from the Vampire Counts. In addition, there are the Chaos Marauder Horse Masters there to provide a mobility support to shoot at any flying mobility and screen out any enemy cavalry with their missile attacks. And even if the knights and whatnot penetrated the defenses of the infantry and get tied up in melee combat in the back lines, they can simply maneuver around using their missile attacks to focus down the um, approaching threats, while the infantry will be keeping the enemy mobility busy. All that buys a lot of space and time for the Soul of Damnation to dish out the damage, bringing the pain to the undead infantry. While well, Archaeon the Ever Chosen, a solid melee combatant and also a powerful spellcaster as well, using those fire magic to blast down any ethereal units and also his impressive melee combat stats to beat down enemy characters. For the army performances, we have the Chaos Marauders here, just not doing a lot of damage, but their existence really delayed my advance as my infantry lines are tightly packed and a couple units are able to tie down most of my forces as the whole line of infantry are stuck on some Chaos Marauders. The Chaos Marauders with great weapons did a little bit better here as some of them actually got a charge on my more valuable assets. Forsaken dishing out a lot of damage, 110 kills on this unit, probably beating down some zombies as you can see there are not a lot of value but they absolutely held the back line. My Felba is trying to drop onto their artillery but have no success whatsoever due to their powerful aggressive stats. Even Varex Reavers in the end got just counter charge and shut down. Marauder Horse Masters here all earning back their value and some of them a bit more over a thousand value on this one. Pretty impressive so far. They were able to utilize their mobility to just harass the Felbats and shut down the Blood Knights as the um, Blood Knights, even with the missile resistance and shield and also heavy armor, still get hit pretty hard from the AP available to the Marauder Horse Master's Javelins. We have the Soul of Damnation here being an absolute carry for the whole game, pounding down my undead infantry, getting over 2100 value. Ice Power was able to keep it online for the whole game and just continuously hammer my elite infantry with it. As for Archeon the Ever Chosen, he himself using those fireballs to a great effect, sniping out the Banshee and engaging in melee combat beating down whatever characters I still have. As for the undead forces, most of them just get wrecked. You can see none of them really earning back their value on the infantry side. Neither did the cavalry, only 870 on the Varix Reavers and less than 400 on the Blood Knights who both got focused down by certain units, Blood Knights being surrounded by Horse Masters and getting shot in the face, certainly not enjoying their lives. Felbaz here also getting shot down by the Javelins, Dire Packs getting overwhelmed by Horse Masters and Chaos Marauders, and my hero units only engaging against Chaos Marauders unable to dish out any effective damage to my opponent's army. And that's basically it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe to get notified every time I upload a new video on battle replays like this one or some wild army builds that I've created. I'm also gonna do a stream later this week for a heavy chaos cavalry build I made recently. So stay tuned as I'll be scheduling the stream 24 hours before it begins. Also, if you have any units you want me to make a build out of and showcase, feel free to leave a comment down below and make a suggestion. I'm looking for some new ideas for army builds, so it would be great to know what you guys have in mind. That's all I have for today, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Tactical Lich, signing out.